Good afternoon. Thank you for having me. It's a pleasure being here. Okay, so Nurse Powell is dependable, she is loving, and she is also a perfectionist. Okay, initially it was because of my love for people and I was overly enthused about God's work, how his marvelous works are demonstrated in people. And funny enough, as I recall having a love for people, I started out with wanting to be a teacher. I always took joy in teaching. I have three younger sisters and I would always gather them and teach so I would give them work I would mark it and I always grew up wanting to be a teacher but as I went into high school I became more fascinated with the sciences and I always wanted to know you know why is this organ here and then I stumbled upon the scripture that says we are fearfully and wonderfully made so that became a driving force and then I decided, you know, since I love people and I love science and I am fascinated by the work of God, why not go into healthcare? Okay, usually I encourage my patients to talk. I will always tell them that without mental health, there is no health. So in the mornings or whatever shift I am on, usually I will begin by introducing myself. Good morning, good afternoon, good night. I am Nurse Powell and I will ask them their names and they will tell me. And then in the conversation I would ensure to ask, is there anything that you'd want to complain about? Is there anything that you are not pleased with? How can I assist you in making the care that you receive a little better? And they will sometimes they will begin to tell me their life story or their experiences but I always believe that if the patient is not doing men, doing well mentally then they will not be doing well physically in service I ensure to in, include them also in the care that I provide for them I ask them if I have done any intervention I would ask them are you feeling any better is there anything else that I can do how are you feeling right now and I will check back within like an hour or hour and a half to see if there's any improvement in the state that they are in. Okay, I'm a pre-planner. I plan things in my head before I execute. So if I know that I have a very hectic day, for instance, I work in the operating theatre so we have surgeries every day and based on how many surgeries are to be performed the day before I would plan in my head you know how do I execute how do I gather my energy and I never forget to pray okay I am an internalizer I pray first of all but I will taught myself through whatever I'm going through. I would say to myself, you know, it's not so bad. You can do it. You can overcome this. What can you learn from this? How can this make you a better person? And how can you help somebody else that may be going through a similar situation? I have the ambition to. I haven't started yet, but I would do like my light jumping jacks or I would do a little skipping but I am not very physical in terms of going out to the gym and doing the various working out techniques yes. but I like to walk I do a lot of walking yeah. okay during this pandemic, a lot of persons have been affected emotionally and my advice to them is to reach out to family, reach out to friends, take time to know who you are as a person, 
pre, 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 and when you have prayed enough, you prayed again, you pray again. But I also encourage persons to use the time to get to know themselves. Persons also have developed, um, discovered the creative side to them and they have gone on to make that, um, to put more work into it. I also encourage them to be mindful of the protocols that are in place, to wear your mask, to acknowledge the social distance, to wash your hands, to sanitize. Okay, I had an experience. I mentioned earlier that I'm kind of a perfectionist. So I had a male friend with me that was helping me with some luggage and I had my handbag but it was packed. So one of the strap was kind of giving way and he, um, he thought that he could assist me. So he took the bag from me and I thought, you know, he would put it on his shoulder. But he took the bag and he held it down like this. And I got into a fit. I said, you know, you can't hold my bag like that. And he took it up and he put it on his shoulder and he looked so funny. So he said, what you want me to do? Put it on my shoulder like this? And I just burst it out into a fit. Because based on how I was imagining him that he should carry the bag, there's no way a gentleman would carry the bag looking like that. And I had another experience where he asked to assist with my bag again. And he had it down like this. And just as I was about to go into a fit again, he put it on the shoulder and I just, <laughs> bursted out in laughing and he said to me young lady whenever I am going to assist you with your bags please tell me how you want me to carry it <laughs> so that was quite funny okay I am nocturnal my energy level is extremely high in the night so I function more efficiently in the night so when I used to do like, well, I still do shifts at work, but I would function more effectively when I'm on the night shift. So I, all the things that are not completed in the day, I would use that time in the night to do them. And so um, sometimes I have difficulty sleeping at night because my energy level mm. is so high, I just feel like I need to be moving about. So persons would not know that I would be more of a night person than a day person. Yes. Apart from God, my mother, she is very hardworking. She's very disciplined and very giving. And each day I strive to be as much of her as I can, I possibly can.